Hey, what's up? It's John Kizzy. You know who is he, a.k.a. Philly G, because they know who I be. And I'm here with DJ Laton. I'm back. And my cousin Ray Ray. What it do, people? And hey, we started a podcast. So today, um, what are we on? Episode 71. Uh, 71. Um, we see that, uh, yeah, you weren't here last week. We had an interview with uh, two local artists, two local uh, film artists. I'm sure y'all seen it. Um, but uh, that came up right after the Junos, so we didn't have enough time to talk to the Junos. Talk to the Junos, I said. I mean, talk about the Junos. <laughs> talk about it. Talk um, to me nice. <laughs> so uh, this episode, we are going to catch up on that and, and get in that. Uh, but first, we're going to start with Beyonce. Her new Cowboy Carter album. How you feeling about that? It's a whole like whole switch up in the scene, right? Yeah. Um, first off, did you, I know y'all heard the single um, "Texas Hold'em." Yeah. What y'all think about that? I think it, I think it was good for what it was. Like I'm I'm not a big country fan, but I don't hate it. Um, yeah. I used to hate it. I saw DJ more weddings. Now I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like you get in the get into the flow of knowing there's different types of country, you know, pop country and all that old school country. But I, for what it was, it's, it's good. Like it's to me, it's it's not bad. I don't consider it. Oh my god, it's I can't stop listening to it. But it's a good listen to. It's nice and Beyonce knows what she's doing. I'll, I'll get into that. I guess when you talk to the album, like um, in regards to that track. Um, have you ever had any requests for that song yet? No, I haven't, but I have played it. Okay. I have played it. I have played I played it to a uh sip and paint. Just oh, okay. just just to see the reaction. Yeah, how was the reaction? Everybody didn't like oh my god, but people were just like, Oh, he's actually playing the new Beyonce. It was very new then. It was like a couple of days new. It wasn't like, oh my god, but it was like, hey, they recognized it was Beyonce's song though. It's still that still shows power, like, to know the hell, yeah. That means that plenty of people are listening to it already. Yeah, yeah, true that. Yeah. Well, it is, it was, it's all over the radio. Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. people, that's probably how people are familiar with it. Um, I'll say that that song, that single, um, kind of sets the, sets the mood for the album, but um, it doesn't pigeonhole it, if you know what I mean. It's mm -hmm. not, like, stuck in that. It, it's It's definitely... Um, I don't know if I'd call it a country album as much as a like a country inspired R and B album. You know what I mean? Because mm. I listen to it and it does have the country undertones, but it doesn't feel like any kind of country music I've heard anyway. I mean, if you if country music is like that, then I could stop hating country too. Is it <laughs> like I don't know? Um, but yeah, and the guests on it. Um, Miley Cyrus, her and Miley Cyrus got a song on there that's really dope. Um, her and Post Malone, that song on there is really dope. And as I was saying before we started, there's a song where she's rapping, and I thought it was Cardi B. <laughs> that's, that's how good she was. I was like, and for me, that threw me off because I thought it was a country album. I'm like, why, why is Cardi on here? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a country <laughs> country album and then got Cardi B. <laughs> and then, no, it was, <laughs> yeah, Beyonce could spit. Oh, yeah. That was the first time I've heard her spit. Except for all, uh, that, what was that Megan Thee Stallion song? I don't know exactly what the song was, but pretty sure it was a remix to one of her songs. Yeah, and it was. I don't know if it was Body. It may have been Body. I'm not sure. I kind of, it was one of those hits around that time. Yeah. Well, yeah, something else. It was a remix, and it was Beyonce was on it. It was like, it was it wasn't WAP, right? It wasn't WAP. No, definitely no, it, it wasn't, wasn't WAP. No, I, I don't know if Beyonce is bold enough to go to there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bee the beehive can't can't follow it because you know she still targets the kids, right? That that would have been too left mm, for her. I don't know. I don't know. I would say Beyonce yeah. targets the kids, man. She. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say that. Her radio singles are, are lighter. But man, I, watching that, I watched the concert thing at the um, at the theaters. Yeah, that ain't no kid show. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much gyration going on to be a kid show. That that's too much. 
booty everywhere and like it's it, that ain't a kid show to me. I don't I don't think it's a kid show. <laughs> that's too, a, that's what I think. <laughs> too booty delicious. Yeah, he, she actually <laughs> in one state she had, she showed Meg coming out, and Meg was doing her regular routine, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hands on the knees on the you know it was I don't know I don't consider it a kid show. It could be a kid show now. Times no, have changed. I, 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 I'm sorry. Maybe I misworded it. I don't yeah. mean she puts on kid shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean that she does some kid friendly singles. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and her music is more easily digestible. She's kind of like kind of like Drake in a point where oh, this guy. No, I mean Drake does music that you can listen to in the supermarket, right? <laughs> but deaf over here. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then when you go to his album in the non like made for radio stuff, it ain't stuff that you can play around kids. No. You know what I mean? No. That that's no. that's what that's the only way I'm comparing them. Yeah, like yeah. Like they're multi layered. It's like they have stuff that they can play anywhere. Yeah. But you can't play their whole album if you anywhere. Yeah, because because then you'll be song number four, and you're like, "What? What did he just say?" <laughs> <laughs> you're like, "Oh shoot, that wasn't for us." Yeah. I think what yeah. this album showcases that she can't miss. Yeah, Maybe she decides to put her hands on, bless bless the song with her voice, and don't miss. Yeah, right. Like, what what are the numbers? What are the numbers streaming at right now? Like, I know they got to be high. Uh, I know that. Uh, oh, she. On uh, Billboard reported that she has the number one, the al- I forget what the complete numbers are, but broke the record for albums streamed in a 24-hour period, basically, yeah. Yeah. this year. Um, it's April, so, it's, <laughs> you know, so these type of, those type of records sound dope, mm-hmm. but yeah, in April, you know what I mean? If you were in, like, November, yeah. and you put an album out and it said most streamed on what you'd be like, oh shoot, but yeah. but there's so much time ahead that can get past that 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 could sorry so many time for artists put out something that can beat these records. Will they? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Will they though? I don't know. When this starts I don't. to become a tour, and that they oh they, yeah they do the tour package. Oh yeah, the tickets and the album those count as album sales. That, this oh could yeah, be, this old. could be the album of the year. She's doing it again. You know what? Good point, because now, to to counter actually what I just said, this kind of sets might set the bar too high for every other artist this year. Yeah, because on one hand I'm like, yeah, that's not impressive. You, you don't got much competition because it's the beginning of the year, but you still got the whole rest of the year is going to be your competition. And now they have to. Who's breaking this record? I don't know. It's got to be something phenomenal. You got to think about it because she's tapping into a completely different yeah. fan base with this one as yeah. well, right? I think that she's gonna one. bring her fans over there. Yep. The, the only the only one who's gonna who's gonna be able to tap into that market is it's Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess the part you know she should say sorry to all the artists. Sorry, everybody else yeah. who's dropping this year. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't touching her record that she put out in oh shoot March, third month of the year. And she set the tone for the music for the rest of the year. Yeah. That's great. It's, it's crazy, man. This Beyonce, though. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know until you told me this is like, an, she's doing three acts of this. So I guess she already gave everybody that warning. Because didn't Renaissance just come out last year? I'm pretty yeah, sure that was last yeah, year. Yeah, like she's, uh, man, she's, and she must have all this stuff in the tuck already. Well, that's what she was saying. Like, yeah. the article I read said that, she was working on this for like about five, six years. Yeah. Okay, I guess since the incident happened where she was at like, a, I think it was like an award show or something. I might be wrong in these details, but it was like an, a show where she was performing with some country music artists and it wasn't well received by some people. Right? Ah, okay. So this was like, oh, I can, I can come in and stomp on this. I can hang with y'all. Yeah. If I wanted to. <laughs> and that's what, and that's yeah. what the big artists do. Flex, yeah. Oh yeah. I can hang with y'all if I want to, and I can show you. Mm. It's a flex, but it's also like a, a homage to all of the yeah. black country music artists who never got the shine that they were supposed to get as well, right? That's what some some of the content about the album that I was reading. Yeah, she has some of those artists on that album as well. Yeah, I did see some names I didn't recognize. That must have been them, eh? Yeah, man, and that's see. That's another big artist, um, not plot, but ploy. I, they always give you that story, 
that good feeling story <laughs> to make you listen to to it just because you know this happening. Beyonce is so good with that. She's just like, oh yeah, like what, what album that was? I think it was the Carters or something. And she talked about how she went to Africa and she like she did some songs with African artists and all that. And it's like, oh really? Like she she gives you that warm fuzzy of oh I'm listening to this album. That's, yeah, a, a story. A good story can sell the album. Yes, yeah. that happened with Logic. He, he uh, I watched some kind of documentary on Logic, and it was like all the stuff he was going through. How he did this song for mental health, uh, suicide prevention. Yeah, yeah, and all yeah. This stuff, right? And I was like, oh man, I got really into. It. I even copped it, and then I was like, I was like, man, it sold me on the album. Then I listened yeah. to it. I was like, I'm not that really into it, Logic. <laughs> 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 the story sold me, but. Yeah, uh, the more I listen to, it, I was like, uh, I you know, I like I like the person more than I like the music. Yeah, <laughs> but he got you to listen. Yeah, he, he got <laughs> he me. Got you to listen. Luckily, we we're in the age of uh, streaming, so he didn't get my money. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far off do you think we're gonna? It is gonna be before we see a Taylor Swift and Beyonce country song together. Oh, I bet it's the two Wind biggest Beast. artists in the world, basically. Wouldn't be, su- wouldn't be surprised if they weren't working on something right now. Yeah. That's because they want to. And when that and when then that dropped in, then frig. <laughs> that single of the year, Grammy nominated. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that win song of the year yeah, right there. It's just over. Like, it's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be uh, somebody to come out the life for that to lose. Michael Jackson to come back. <laughs> featuring, two, featuring Tupac and Biggie yeah, the Tupac and Biggie yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson featured Prince Tupac and Biggie <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift and Beyonce Dang. And they still like neck and neck <laughs> And Kanye pop on stage <laughs> Hold yeah. on wait wait I'm gonna let you finish <laughs> I made this collab happen <laughs> Oh yeah Right, Kanye said he invented all the genres Did you see that no, I He's, He said since he can, Every genre's since he came out, he said he invented. Cause it's trying to take. I mean, him I mean to the flows. Cause he's taking. It's like he just overshot and just just forgot about um, T Pain. Cause he's trying to take credit for all the auto tune fad that came. Auto tune too. Dang. I was like, um, I remember T Pain doing auto tune before it, and then after T Pain. Lil Wayne was doing it. Yeah. Sorry, Kanye. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What? I go back to some of Kanye's early early work. Uh oh. It might not be T-Pain? him. Maybe not be him doing the auto tune, but he auto tuned voices on the beats. No, uh, that wasn't auto tune. No. Are you sure? It was sped up. It was. Remember, really? Kanye's one of his major influences. He said, and this is why he wanted to. One of his goals, of course, not now because yeah. his head is bigger than this room. <laughs> <laughs> but one of his goals was to produce a whole album for um, Ghostface. Oh, okay. That was one of his goals because he really l- yeah. l- looked up to uh, RZA in his production. Oh, okay. Remember how Wu Tang would they'd have the sped up like soul samples? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what he did a lot for. Yeah. See, our generation knows that as the Wu Tang sound. Yeah. Later generations know that as the Kanye sound because yeah. he started doing that a lot. But but yeah, it was sped up. It it. it it's still that those weren't if if that's what you're referring to, sir. Yeah, I'm referring to that, and I think there might have been some of the ones that were slowed down. That when he were yeah. looking at like the Dipset stuff, because he was still producing for rock for rock when Dipset was there, right? Yeah, you mm. got to keep that and stuff in mind. Like Kanye's track record goes a long, long way back to like I think it was back to Harlem World, like, to be quite honest. Uh, like, he was doing stuff way back in the day. Mm. Stand up by Ludacris is one of the oldest Kanye songs I can remember. I just remember when I watched that uh, the first episode of that documentary that was on Netflix about him. Oh, I watched show, that. It shows yeah. him, like if you go back, it shows him at an award show in like 1995. Yeah, I, I he's seen with that. a group. I can't remember what group he's with. Dang. Oh. oh, I don't remember the group. But I know another, another scene that you're talking yeah, about because they were there to uh, possibly win an award. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. And that was him like doing all oh, pure production. He was not no rapper or anything like that at the time. Just yeah. pure production. Yeah, I I do remember that. I remember that. Uh, back to the topic. Eight oh eight and heart was it heartbreak and eight oh eight or eight oh eight and heartbreak? I think it's eight oh eight and heartbreak. Yeah. That was the one where he went all auto tune. Yeah. 
but that was after T Pain, and I'd have to check the numbers to see if that was after Wayne. Wayne. I, I, believe. I believe it was out the Wayne, because when Wayne did Lollipop, it was it was a shock to the system. It was like whoa. Yeah, I mean, not saying that nobody did it before him, but it was shocked to my system. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What's this?" Like, 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 like. <laughs> <was> like, <"What?" laughs> See, the th- the crazy thing with when Lil Wayne went with Auto Tune was kind of backwards with T Pain because T Pain came out uh, with Auto Tune, and that's what you knew him for. Mm. And then when he didn't do it, you're like, "Oh, he could he could actually sing." Yeah, he could sing. Yeah, but with Lil Wayne, you knew what he he knew he could spit. Then he did the Auto Tune. You're like, "Why are you doing that?" Yeah. yeah, you can already, you can spit. It seemed like you were using a crouch that you didn't need, right? Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. Yeah, it's cause, that's why I that know. probably led to a lot of the shock too. It's like, wait, we, yeah. know, we know you got the bar. Yeah, yeah, we know you. And, and his voice was iconic. Yeah. Like, um, not to you know, diss any of the other hot boys, but I was always waiting for Wayne. Yeah, it was Wayne yeah. and BG for me. And for me, it was Wayne and Juvie. Actually, yeah, I got, yeah. I got to hold then my BG. tongue on that. Juvie, Juvie was Juvie, Juvie was in there. Juvie, Juvie was Juvie's my guy. guy. Yeah, and then and then and I, I don't know what to say without disrespecting Turk, but this guy I, always dissing Turk, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is this a pattern? All right, give me a Turk. <laughs> no, bar. I don't give have a Turk. Bar. I don't have a Turk bar. <laughs> I, I don't. don't want? I don't even have one Turk bar. A I Turk can't remember. I can't remember what I took like, Adler. What Hot Boys. I can't remember what verse he had at Hot Boys. I can't, I can't even remember what his voice <laughs> sounds like. I if I listen to the song, I know because I know it's the it's one that's not, not one the other them, three. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I, like you could you could hear Juvie, you could hear BG, yep. you could hear yep. Wayne, you hear Wayne. But like I can I hear Baby. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can hear Baby and Manny you Fresh. Can Manny Fresh. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear Turk. Can't, can't really hear Turk. No, that Juvie thing. Man, you got me really thinking about that. It's like a whole city. Was running around here screaming his screaming that song. None of us knew what we were saying. Oh, uh, <laughs> think about that. Yeah, yeah man, Juvie. Juvie made us. <laughs> but he, was, huh? There was some kind of meme saying this guy made a hit record and number one single at just asking questions. Because <laughs> that's all it is. Oh, oh yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's every all. line is a question. Yeah, you really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was always greatness though back in the day. You know what? I was ne- I wasn't a fan of the of the verses as much, but when that hook kicked mm-hmm. in, cause the beat cha- yeah. I was like, on fire, that's what made I was like, yeah, because I I I wasn't racking with the Han things, and I just because he said it so much, I kind of now that I go back and listen to it, I like it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I I brushed off back in the day, but now when I listen to it, I actually like it, and that was part of it. But that hook, yeah, and the way the beat changes up. Yeah, I found it was a good transition for me, right? Because you go from no limits to uh, to huh. Yeah. yeah. It was easy to pick <laughs> up on, right? So I to no limit. <laughs> you know what? Um, way back, way back, uh, last year sometime, one of our early episodes, we had uh, Brad on here, and we talked about music that didn't age well. I think most of the no limit is in that bag for me. Oh, yeah. I never go back to it. Almost like Eminem's first album. Oh, Ooh, yeah. shots fired! <laughs> oh no, what? M is good, but yeah, there's n- oh, there's like I one. I go to sorry. I'm just trying to. I I think there's one song on there. I do go the one with uh Royce the Five Nine when Bad Meets Evil. Hmm. I listen to that. I don't know that one, but most of the other stuff because he had it was like that shock lyrics. Yeah, it was a shock lyric. It's like it's it's not a jam no more. It's not you know what I mean. Yeah. So. uh what, I listen what to. Were you I listen to like I don't. I don't go to back to them as a group. I listen to something like Old Master P. Mm. I like uh, about that. Yeah, <laughs> Bentleys and Hummers. Oh, that it be about that. I I listen to some fiend from time to time, and mystical, of course. Yeah. I can't Ooh. even lie. I was listening to us. Make him say on uh, the other day. Make him say uh, on. <laughs> that's yeah, a classic. Mr. Magic. That was my. Fa- that was one of my favorites before you, Mystical came out. Right before but Mystical was but really, really popping. It was Mr. Magic. <laughs> Since Spotify existed, I never once typed in Silk the Shocker. <laughs> I think he's on he's on about that. He's on about, he's featuring. What? He's featuring on about that. I was saying. I, was I know. But have yeah. you ever searched his name? The, the place no, I have No. 
<laughs> I can't listen to that right now. It's just like, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm not hating. I'm just saying. He's the wackest you, rapper. You, y'all remember... Um, <laughs> just a little hate. Just a little hate. Y'all, <laughs> y'all remember Chopper Style? Chopper Style. Chopper uh, Style. Yeah, Chopper Style. Like who? Chopper Style. Chopper Style. I guess not. Who they want? Chopper Style. Chopper Style. Chopper Style. Oh, no. That sounds familiar. Yeah. That's what his name? Yeah. Oh, wait. Did he just... Did he shorten it to just Chopper, though? He may have. Yeah, I think he okay. Did. Yeah. Because I do remember Chopper. I I didn't remember his name was Chopper Style. Yeah. Okay. He's, I don't know if he was with No Limit or he was just one of the artists. And Soldier Slim. Mm. Yeah. But um, anyways, yeah, we went we went off topic. <laughs> I guess um, I guess we I don't know. Good to go off topic because the next topic on the screen up there is Ooh. is a uh, is Diddy Got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> is Diddy. Man. The diddler. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think about the 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 um the video of LeBron James going around saying, "Ain't no, ain't, ain't no, no party, party like a Diddy, Diddy party." party. <laughs> oh, this, this That's your hero up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's King Tig is a troll right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. hoping that LeBron's gonna play LeBron's then somewhere with Diddy right now. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, shit. Waited that came in the host though, and now people are trying to get Jay Z. Not they, people are trying to drag Jay Z into this. Now. They trying to drag everybody oh, yeah. in there. Everybody. Man, anybody who was like Prince on Harry camera, yeah, anybody's <laughs> on camera with Diddy. They doing memes. With, oh, look at this guy with Diddy. Oh, look oh, at yeah. this guy with Diddy. They, they frying Meek. <laughs> oh oh yeah, he getting torched. Done. Yeah, because there was a there was a freaking hard. photo of Meek, I guess trying on sneakers somewhere, and and um took a f- selfie, and someone captioned it, "Look at Meek." Taking selfies in P. Diddy's basement. <laughs> <laughs> like, Meek is getting killed. Bro, they doing everything. Man. They doing everything to Meek, man. Funny thing is, is though, I don't know. I don't like to get racy all the time, bring race into it. But you know who's under Diddy and still signed a bad boy and his name didn't come up with nothing? And I bet you he was at them parties. MGK. Oh, is MGK under Diddy? Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah, he's on bad boy. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I did not. MGK was, he just released something. Did yeah, he? him and Trippy Red. Yeah, yeah, he just oh, did okay. something. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know he was bad boy. Yep. Oh. Huh? No, his name didn't come up. Because, uh, I don't know why. I just bet you he black, was at the parties. Just the black people he's saying? Yeah, I, I, I ain't saying, but I'm saying. You know what I mean? I mean, if you, like, if you think about it, they really ain't mentioning any, because we know it's not, them parties was in all black. It was all mixed. Anybody yeah. who was with Diddy or with Ryan with Diddy, they wasn't all black. And you're right. They they don't mention any other, like, white people there. only person they seen to mention was Prince Harry. Yeah. That was, that was a weird throw to put out there. And that was only because he of, already. All the different, but you know. Different, different people who yeah. are of white skin who were in the music industry. Yeah. Point out the one white guy who isn't in the music industry. Yeah. <laughs> but who is, but he's very pro black and all that. He's like, he's against oh, the crown. Oh, so yeah. that's why they put him there, see? Yeah. He got a black wife. Yeah, he's, and he's against the crown for all that see? stuff they're saying. With so they're going to throw him out yeah, there. Yeah, they got to put him in there. But you're right. How many videos have they come out from Diddy's parties? And it wasn't just a sea of black people. It ain't. You even see him with white music execs. Yep. And stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's just so much content now that. With Diddy that doesn't age well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like even like yeah. seeing him get him to the Greek, it got him looking wild. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. I seen <laughs> that. Look wild. Yeah. Drink Champs interview with J- with Jada Kiss of Fabulous. Yeah, I seen that one wild. too. Cause he's looking wild for having to freaking ad lib take that take that. You can't be on <laughs> sexual her- <laughs> rape charges and that be your catchphrase. And I thought I told you we won't stop. Oh yeah, and he's going by Daddy Love now too. Yeah, right? Daddy I know. Love. Oh, did you see that? Suge Knight said, "Don't become the prison with yeah. name <laughs> Love." It's a good looking prison. <laughs> Suge, buddy. Suge has actually had like almost positive things to say towards. That's Diddy. what I. That's that's what I mean. He was saying that he they're started. just trying. They're just trying to take him down. Yeah, he started very positive on that talk. I, yeah, that, that yeah. he started very positive. It's because like the thing he said at the end was more jokey. Yeah, like, know, he don't just come like that. So he had to. I feel like he had to do it. He was like, Yeah, yeah. Nah, I can't come that serious. <laughs> like, yeah. don't sit down on the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. He might it's know like, but more, right? Yeah, but it was like a ten. No, not it wasn't ten minutes. It was probably like six minutes. And he was like all positive, like he was almost yeah. pro Diddy. 
for five and a half and then threw in some <laughs> yeah, shade at the shit. end. <laughs> you gotta learn, like, you might know more than the average person does, right? Like, they yeah. took him out. Like, he got nine years in jail for a parole violation for a kick. Yeah. But what, took his whole company down when he was gone. But what does it say to you guys when, like, in the 90s, basically, I don't know if they ever pieced it up, but what the world knows is his arch enemy is basically supporting him and saying, yo, no, this, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Shug, Shug Knight is the one that, remember, we said, I can't wait to hear what Shug's going to say. Mm. I thought he was going to roast him, but no. He's, no, like, he did. did the opposite. Yeah. He's, like, because a lot of people are saying they raided Diddy's place to burn the evidence. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people are saying that, too. Yeah. I heard that. I seen something also when they was talking about, they talked about Diddy and Shugs. I don't know if this, how true it is. He went to some Islamic group, that's not, that's it, Islamic group or a Muslim group, and asked them to go and talk to Shug so they could stop the beef. I don't know how true it is. Oh, but like with the Nation of Islam? Or? Yeah, I went to go say, can you go and talk to Shug? And like, because I want to, but Shug say, nah, I don't want to talk to him. That's, I don't know if it's hearsay or this, that, but they make it seem like Diddy was trying to done this people. If you're talking about the 90s beef, right? Like actually escalating in. Oh, yeah. I think at that time, I think Pac was already dead too. So it was like, yeah. Shug was all, oh, yeah, it's Diddy. Diddy did that. And yeah. Bro. Well, I know that it wasn't as serious as the media made it, to be quite honest. Like, yeah. there's, there's interviews where people from Death Row talk about how Bad Boy Camp was scared to go out and party after they would do shows and stuff like that, knowing that they'd be in the same city. And Suge Knight and them guys call, calling them up and be like, man, go go and party, man. Get your money. We're getting money out here. Like, yeah. Stop worrying about that. That's interesting, man. You know what I mean? So it might not have been as big as everybody was. Yeah. Even, even in Tupac's interviews, like their famous interview him at the, I think it's at the Source Award, him and Snoop are sitting down there in the suits together. And he's like, everybody's trying to make this an East Coast and West Coast thing. They try to blow it out of proportion, make it bigger than it is. That kind of thing, right? Yeah. So there was, there was a lot of more hype to the situation than I feel like it was actually really going on. Yeah, because really it was just Pac didn't like Biggie. He accused them of setting him up, and that's what set it off. Hmm. Is everybody, even Pac said in one song, everybody had to open their mouth with a fucking opinion. Hmm. Well, yeah. And, and I think that was some of the biggest things like that even got misconstrued about that situation is what Pac wasn't necessarily saying from my perspective, anyway, from what all the information I heard was that you set me up. It was more, you mean to tell me I got hit in the si- in your city you're, you're claiming you're the body. dawn of your city. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm your friend, and I got hit up where you're upstairs, and you don't know nothing? Yeah, that's weird. It, it, you don't know nothing? Yeah, it comes, nothing, comes bro. weird. The streets, <laughs> the streets talking. You know what I mean? Nothing, bro. Yeah. That just don't make, that just don't line up. You know what I mean? If you think about any type of street type of politics, yeah. anything like that, even just as friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm from if we're from the same neighborhood as someone from your neighborhood comes to fights with me, you're probably gonna hear about it. Yeah. You right. might not even know about it beforehand. Yeah, like, hey, exactly. Ryan, no, you you speaking facts like you that I mean? that anger then generated it and you heard about it already. Yeah. So you so you may expect something to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, man. So then that was that was what Park said. He said it in a couple of interviews, especially he was in jail, right? And he said, Now now then I go to jail right after this and then your whole album is a mirror image of what my album was gonna be. You know, mm. you're no longer on the parodying and bullshit, bullshit type stuff. You're on the yeah. Let's let's gangster, gangster, yeah. gangster st- lyrics, right? That's how it come across for real. That's my hot take. Fry me in the comments <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, um, did he do it? I know you're gonna say that next, <laughs> and I don't, man. To be honest, I don't know. Do you think? Do you I, think it's a setup to cover up all the other shit? Because Uncle Luke, you know, from yeah. um, oh, Two Live, yeah, Two, two Live crew, crew. Yeah. yeah. Even he said he didn't say it. Diddy parody's too long. He's like, I don't know what they got up after, after hours. Wow, but I knew it was something. No that way, was, he said that. He did. Oh, he did say that. He, he said <laughs> I was on. Unco- I it was too much for me, and I got unco- when he said that. Yo, if Uncle Luke's leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not even staying if he's still there. Why is Uncle Luke here? I'm out here. <laughs> so there's a lot of weird suspects. Did you see the uh, the little clip with Kevin Hart, Usher? Usher, yeah. yeah. 
Wrestling over the cornflakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, "Oops!" He's like, "Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. Well, that's all a little weird." <laughs> like he's like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> like, he was a grown man when that came. Yeah, he came to live with you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of stuff sound weird, man. I don't know. I still. I, that's why I. That's why I think. Like when Uncle Luke said that, I was like, "Okay, something was going down." That he didn't yeah. want to be around and implicated in. Mm. And I think that everyone else was there. And there might have been some billionaires that were there. Oh, yeah. And I bet you Diddy had cameras everywhere. That's what they said. <laughs> they said they, they found the cameras. I'll see. Yeah, they said they found the cameras in a bunch of rooms. He's been, he's been recording <laughs> oh, a bunch so, of stuff. So he Diddy probably has some powerful pe- dirt yeah. on powerful people. Yeah. And that's when they was like, okay. That's why Shug said, now watch your back, because they come in, they're coming for you now. Yeah. Yeah, because if you have all those cameras and people in there who ain't supposed to be in there, just like, I don't know, it goes, everybody talked about the Epstein thing, but I think it's weird how Epstein died too, so. Yeah, and then there's just no more information. Yeah, it's just, that's it. Like, log released, and it's like, okay, but it's no big deal, because his flight was used, yeah. was used for other things. It's like, mm. it's weird. Yeah, well, hopefully Diddy was smarter, and he's like, a lot of people might have copies of all that stuff, and if something happens, he tell the people, something happens to me. That stuff yeah. is gonna be everywhere. <laughs> then all of a sudden, <laughs> all churches dropped. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. This feel like a movie, man. <laughs> it does. This feel like a movie, like it does. Superhero found the beat. Da 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 da. Sold. Uh, sold. He sold all his shares of Revolt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they yeah. Made him step away from that like, stuff. Yeah. Uh, like what was it? Uh, that was like when the Cassie stuff first came out. Yeah, I think Uncle Luke said that. Um, he said when you're. They put you on the pedestal, the people the, with the power. They put you up there because they need you and they want you there. Yeah. But the minute you don't act right, they can take you down from there yeah. anytime they want. Yeah. And we're seeing right now that, like, it was Diddy, a billionaire. He, he was a billy, didn't he? If not, I think so. If not, he was right on I the cusp. I think he just got it. I think he just got it, though. Yeah. And they, yeah. Um. Shoot, who else? Yeah, because cause that's another thing he said. They're going after all our billionaires. Well, Kanye was a billionaire, but he... That's what they... That, thank you. you oh, okay. That's right. what he said. He said they're t- going after all, and they took down Kanye. Mm-hmm. Now they're taking back down Diddy. All we got left is Jay-Z. Yeah, and people Jay. are There's all rum, rumblings in them trying to go after him. Yeah. They don't want Jay no black smart, people though. to have billions. Jay unless smart, you're a woman. Though. That's why I said. Oprah and Rihanna are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know. I would. I. I. I kind of. I feel bad for saying this, but I want to see the conclusion. I want to yeah. see what's what. What did they find? What are they? Who's? I mean, I heard who's the was it producer Rod or whatever saying all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the main guys. He, so he, he labeled uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, he yeah. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, he named all kinds of people there implicated Man. in this stuff. I'm glad you said J Lo. I thought about J Lo when this is going on. Remember when Jayla was like, my love don't cost a thing from a long time ago? Mm. And it was all about, at that time in the club, when Diddy, when they, yeah. it was Shine and Diddy in the club. Yeah. That gun went off and all that stuff. Yeah. And then Diddy, Jayla was little, out. Little Rob saying that she snuck it in. He's implicating oh, her wow. in it. I was like, whoa. It implicated QB Gooden Jr. saying that he was trying to grope him and do all this kind of stuff. And Also, uh, they, I don't know if he's the one that named her, but um, on the, the case... That's going through um, 50 Cent's Baby Moms is on, it was named. Yeah. That's oh, why yeah. 50's out there saying stuff now. Yeah, 50, he ain't easing up on nothing. Oh, and now, apparently, his Baby Moms is going after him for sexual assault. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Where is Diddy when all this is going on? Diddy is, he's somewhere with no Steve J. No bookings, no nothing. Nothing. Like, he's not getting booked for anything. Like They, they spotted him with an uh, influencer in Miami. Yeah, at a breakfast, right? Yeah, at a breakfast thing, yeah. That's the, I think that's the last thing I saw. Yeah, that was the last thing I saw. The crazy thing is, is that, like you just said, no charges or nothing, right? Also, no statements from Diddy. No. He ain't yeah. said nothing. No. He probably don't want them to know where he is. <laughs> that's It's it's different. Normally, you get a statement like when they start accusing you. Yeah. Like R. Kelly, he started talking, interviews, everything. He's like, no, nah, it wasn't me. I didn't lie. Yeah. And he's just like. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. But Man, then, I don't know. But then again, I, the people that's doing those interviews and stuff, 
We always find out that them's the guilty ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. The ones saying I didn't do it the yeah. loudest. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You know what Even I mean? They're the ones that go time. down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe, maybe Diddy's. I don't think anyone in this situation innocent. No. But I think that Diddy didn't do half the stuff that they trying to get him for. But he has films of people doing stuff that they don't and want. That's out the there. thing. That's the thing. What do they? What did they? What did they really got on him? Well, they, they're talking wild stuff, but like I don't. It's all yeah. It's all near, like right? people like are talking. In the Cassie lawsuit. They talking about him blowing him blowing up uh, Kid Cudi's car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I remember laughs> what that happened one. to that? <laughs> like, how do you just do that? And somebody says you do that, and nobody look into it. Yeah, like no one investigates the incident. You yeah, know, like Kid Cudi had a blown up there, car. Yeah, yeah. did they find a bomb on the car? Or? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're not gonna check the records. exactly. Like, yeah, this is a, it's an open case now. <laughs> like, it's like basically like, it's a cold case open. It's weird, man. It's, it's all. It's all. It's all very weird, man. It's it's. I don't know if it's weird or just the money involved and the power involved. I don't know. I, I'd like to know what's going on. Everything. And that's what I mean. Like I, I, I don't know. If, I don't feel good saying it, but I really want to know what's the conclusion. What actually happened? Because this to me is just like wild. And like I said, they have rumblings of going after Jay Z now. There's memes now talking about Jay Z's relationships, how he was like when he was dating. Foxy Brown, now this is what they're saying online. Yeah. Foxy Brown when she was like 16 and he was like. 15 when she was signed. And she was, what, how he was like 27? Man, Something Jay, like that. Jay did that to Beyonce too. That's what people are saying. Yeah. Although I I was, uh, sometimes I get online, uh, I partake in the comments and I argue for a bit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I got somebody. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all fine, John, because you did argue it. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a see guy right here. Because when I'm oh, hey when I'm listening to Joe Budden or something and I'm just not doing nothing I was like let me let me argue about this because they got the, they got the years off when they were talking about beyond oh they they got the years wrong yeah 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 and I and I was in there they're like no this is what they do I was like you don't know these people don't you love it when people assume no they're yeah. all like that you don't know Jay Z no you don't you don't so and that's what, shut up with that yeah and you can go back and you can see in their interviews. That happened on NBC TV back in the days of stuff. You can see what year that interview happened. And you can see then when they said they met in the progression. Also, you could even see back in those days who they were actually dating at those times. Yeah. Like, someone's like, oh, yeah, they they, they fell in love in 97. Destiny Child came out in 97. Yeah, so. They, they. <laughs> you even know Jay-Z. Yeah. yeah. yeah timeline don't line up. I yeah. know. That but that's what the meme happen. is. I was like, yeah, they fell in love in 97 when she was. And then they put the ages. But the ages don't matter when you got the year wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Yeah, you can't believe everything. And I agree with that, too. Oh, yeah. If people do. And then they speak in. Because I look at the comments and I'm like, these people speaking on them like they know these people. Yeah. Like, it's fact. No, you're wrong. Yeah. Like, check their interviews. That didn't, Anyways. It turned this this fat white girl started arguing with me bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm not even gonna say what I want to say. <laughs> I, I think because because I I said something about it all it, it always makes certain type of people mad when you bring race into it. I was like yeah. they just trying to take another brother down, and then all of a sudden she just was uh, she's <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, so I know Jay Z. I saw him. I saw him. <laughs> Someone talked to her when she was with Destiny's yeah. Child. She's like, why are you trying to make white people look like this? I was like, I wouldn't say. I said they tried to take down a black man. I didn't say it was white people trying yeah. to do it. You didn't want to come out saying that. So I guess when I say somebody's anti-black, your first impression or you uh, assume that it must be a white person. I didn't put that assumption out there. Yeah, anyways, we we argue for a few hours. It's tough, <laughs> it's tough. I usually get them to shut up. They, they go home. <laughs> they go home crying. John Kizzy weekdays. <laughs> I I'm know. in your comments. That's that's, that, that's what I do when I'm uploading, and it's like it says we'll be done in 40 minutes. I'm like, what am I doing here, staring at this bar for 40 minutes? Let me go online and start some trouble. Let's go in the comments. <laughs> Let's go in the comments. Comment sections are crazy. Oh, <laughs> if this stuff all comes up to be true, what yeah, does that mean for listening to the music. That the is bad boy artists have touched a lot of music. Their time. Well, do you still listen to Eric Kelly? I mean, a little bit. Not I, as much. I, he, ain't, he ain't my first go-to for R&B, I can't lie. 
I can't listen to Bump and Grind no more because that just seems wrong. But some of his music. I can't go back and listen to Aaliyah, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number, because I know he wrote that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. I think just like you, man, can the music still play? Yeah. I think about that a lot. It's, a, it's, it's me who normally play. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're the DJ. Hey, yo, I think, yo, is it, can I play this? But like some people still request it, though. Yeah. Some people still request the music, and I can't hate them. I was one of those guys, like Tyrone could tell you, at his wedding, his mom was across to me to play RK, and I was like, no, I play. But she was on me, so I had to play it. <laughs> you should just to. say this This was requested by. <laughs> I, I, I think I did. But what I do do that, though, that's to make sure people know that, hey, it wasn't on my list. Yeah, this ain't part of my set. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is what, you know? This goes out a special request. But, like, I don't okay. lie. I, I still play vibe, though. Well, that is a vibe. Because yeah. I, I feel like that's like, I don't know, school just love vibe, man. They, Ah, yeah, yeah. I still. She has got it. Yeah, one that one knows that well. Too. R. Kelly wrote for a lot of our artists too, right? And right. Not, not all of us know those songs. Yeah. You got to go back through the, the and figure out who. Go you, back through the CDs. Yeah. And the names of who's producing these tracks. You're right. And yeah, who yeah, wrote these right. tracks. You're right. This is a lot. There's a lot of music that he touched. Cuz changed his name to Pied Piper. We should have known right there. <laughs> Uh, Anytime, <laughs> look at what Oh, look at what size Diddy J just did. I know, cause <laughs> yeah. Hey, audience out there. Anytime somebody changes their name to something foul, <laughs> it's something that they they hide in something. Yeah, Mike Piper, great. brother love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's right there. How do we not? They try to show us what is going on. I know. They don't even hide it. They just do <laughs> it. Even breadcrumbs. Yeah. Our guy was win a mask. <laughs> Stop! You're trapped in the closet. Trapped in the closet. That whole, that whole, that was some weird stuff going on in those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, yeah. You know what's funny? I, I, I tried to watch them all, and the longer you watch, the more you're like, "What is this? What's, Where are we going? Yeah, what's <laughs> happening? What's going on?" When he was at church, and then they're driving, and still singing, going to the Waffle House. I'm like, "This is way beyond the closet." And then it always ends like a soap opera. Yeah, yeah. And you're like. I gotta see what happens next. <laughs> There's like fifty somewhat parts, man. <laughs> man, yeah, but that that was crazy. Well, you know, uh, if it's true, I hope he sees justice. If it's not true, I hope it's not just something that's swept under the rug. I hope, you know, what I mean, I hope it's what. Yeah. If someone's setting them up, I hope it's revealed. Yeah. Yeah. If they if nothing's found, I hope they say nothing's found, not yeah. just leaving us like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the biggest thing there cuz the reputation is it's, it's yes. tarnished so yep. much right now, right? Yep. Like how does he ever come back from that even if it isn't true? Yeah. That's what I mean. You know what I mean, like what kind of campaign has to be done to showcase this is not who I am? It's so quiet though. I know, everyone's so cuz everyone's scared that Yeah. You know, cuz he probably got to, Something on all a these lot people. Of footage. <laughs> and, a lot they, of footage, and they don't want to say nothing. It's you, cool. yeah. you don't want to come up for him because then everyone's jumping on you. Yeah. And then when the footage is revealed, they're like, "Oh, that's why you were for him." Yeah. You don't want to come up against him because he got footage on you. Yeah. And then that footage yeah, you is going to come out. Yeah. And what does this <laughs> mean for the Keefy D stuff that's going on too? Right. Shit. If you can, if you can be guilty of one, you might, it can yeah. show probable cause for another, right? Woo. We'll see. There's a there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. I'm it's hoping. A lot. I'm hoping all this stuff is just internet stuff. Yeah, and just people trying to get money, and he's able to come up with his reputation. Come out of it. But you are not helping the case. What you've been doing for the last five ten years? No. <laughs> Speaking in interviews, changing your name. You need new ad libs. New ad libs, Man, I've been I've been thinking too, man. Like I I always. I always thought it was weird how Puff would bring groups on and artists on, and then they would do good for a little bit, then they would stop doing good. Mm. I always thought that was weird. I said, "Why is Puff always bring these artists up in front, in front of the cameras, and they do they do a good single, then they're gone? They don't they? I I don't know any other artists that he brought up recently or like past years that they continue to have a good career. Yeah, he treated them like. Like Netflix t- <laughs> treats new shows. Yeah, you get one season, then cancel. Then that's it. Like you're because it's yeah. the hypeness of that new stuff. That's all he cared about. Yeah, and then it was on you to uh, create your own career. I want and I 
I, I don't know. This is just me. I wonder if it had to, to do something with the lifestyle that was he was trying to bring them into. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was him trying to build artists mm. rather than taking artists and building on that. Because, you know what I mean? Unless the contracts are bad, and that's why they can't continue. But if he's giving them this alley-oop and then they fade away, that's no longer on him. Mm. That's on them to keep doing yeah. the the work, right? I think it's them. But it's like, like you said, I can't think of anyone besides, what, Mace and um, Frig. Who else? That's what I mean. He's always brought these artists to the forefront. Danny Kane, that other boy band group. All these making it in band shows. Mm. 112. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of I know we did Craig Mac yeah. Dirty back in the day. Oh yeah, it's just a lot of it's just a lot of like what happened. What really happened? Is it just? Yeah. Is it, was it the music that they didn't have to, or it just? Was, it's just a part of it too. Yeah. I don't. Know, that's that's where I was at because I always questioned that. I said, Yeah. Yeah. That he's known as the icon, but there's he has bring brought us hits that are timeless. Yes, but where's the longevity in his artists? Mm. Yeah, that's right. I guess French Montana. I guess you could sort of French underneath. French is underneath Bad Boy, too. Yeah, he became under Bad Boy there for yeah. a minute. I, um, he still is, isn't he? I'm not sure. Because I know that I know when he first came out, he was under his own stuff. Yeah, Coke Boys. Yeah. I think he still represents Coke Boys. Maybe Coke Boys is underneath Bad Boy, maybe. Um, I guess you could say MGK. Is, but I don't know. Yeah, it's weird to say this because he's been out for a little bit, but he's still too new to say about longevity, I guess you'd say, right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, man. I don't know. I hope to see, though. Yeah. I, that's, I don't know if that sounds bad to say. I, I just, it's like an itch. It's like. Yeah. Want to know what's that? I know. What, what, what is real? What is the real? Yeah. Because the internet be spinning. Stuff. I know. The There's internet. A whole, like hour and a half documentary on Swamp Stories about like Diddy's whole start. And right. How he might have done this stuff. And right. Like, they didn't have be real? spinning stuff like. They be spinning their hair. I just want to touch on this one thing. I don't know if you're going too much into it, but that same Meek video when he's like jumping like a rabbit is actually from, what's his name? Michael Rubin. Michael Rubin was making him jump like a rabbit. But I think I've seen that same video with Diddy talking on it. <laughs> but that's not that's not mm. that, that might not be the real video. It's actually the real video is Michael Rubin talking to, to, to Meek Mill at the tennis court. That but is, they they have it with Diddy talking on it. That is a wild <laughs> thing nowadays with all this AI. AI, oh, yeah, yeah they can do. They do that AI and everything. Oh, shit. In is ten it, years, cause when they yeah. want to take you down, they don't even need to catch you yeah. doing anything. They're just gonna no, make, that make that a up. video. Just gonna make it up. Just make it there, and people are gonna push it. Yep. Oh yeah, you just have to put it up, make it look catchy. People sharing that, sharing it, sharing it there. It's gonna, yeah, we're getting to a scary world, man. Oh, yeah. It, oh, they yeah. know the algorithms. Too, oh, yeah. Right? They, they know exactly they what know people what's are going to share, how long they're going to they share, how long the video up. content needs to be. And you know what's funny? Is that will lead to more control because, you know, the only way to get a, get around that is to have an alibi, have something to prove where you are at all times. Right. But that's now, you. if that happens, yeah, mm. and then it controls, you know what I mean? Dang, it's all applied. <laughs> it's, it is. Yeah. Trying to make you scared of social media so they make you more comfortable with putting that yeah. chip in you. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They'd be like, you need to get, if you don't have a chip saying that your location and let us track where you are all the time, somebody could do a AI and say you were there and how you're going to prove it wasn't you. Then you're like, shit, chip me up. It's scary, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, cuz. That's scary. Oh, man. Talking about the future. How about that future uh, in Metro Boomin now, man? Oh man! And um, get into it. You know, I, 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 you know what? And no disrespect to the album, but I'm focusing on that. This, mm. I mean, disrespect the album. I, I would disrespect the album. Why? Because it all sounds like it's it all. Every other, every sounds other sounds like song every sounds like the same song. Yeah. Yeah. I listened to it a couple of times, and I was like, okay. I actually, I had actually had this thought too. I was like, man, they had to make the this a big part of it to sell it. Oh, absolutely! Because yeah. nothing else, they they didn't have a hit to pull out. Yeah, they didn't. They couldn't. He, I don't. I don't know. Jeez, I I'm dissing it. They didn't. They they not have any hit to pull out. They couldn't. That's why they they couldn't bring it up. And say, okay, this is the hit. This is a single. That's that's my thoughts. I can't even counter and say no. What about this song? What about that? Uh, that's what I mean. Because you're right. That's what I mean. I can't think of nothing. Like and and you know what? 
if that this wasn't on that track, I don't even know if that track could be something I go to. No. <laughs> But that verse is crazy. It oh, is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, that verse is crazy. It, it is. It is. That verse is like. <laughs> in the first for me, it was like when I was looking at the stuff. They said that futures behind is the, the next artist behind Drake with streaming numbers for like ultimate yeah. streams. I was like, what? How? Yeah, futures. I was like, I know future music is yeah. good and everything like that, but it's that repetitiveness. Like, I you could put future music on, you put it on a two hour playlist. And I would think that every song, every song was the same. I'm with you That's on that. That's what I know, because I am remi- with you on that. The f- future reminds me of back in the day at the palace when they started playing that techno, and you didn't know when the song when ended. the song changed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you thought you're like this song is tw- three hours long. They're like, no, there were like 18 songs. I was like, yeah, I don't know when it changed. That's yeah. Listening to Future's music, I'm like that. In his, it's funny as maybe it's uh, <laughs> maybe it's his accent, right? But on the chorus, when he says. If you like that, right? Yeah. The way he was saying it, I thought he was saying, if you're light skin. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> he's really going after Drake. It sounded like, go well, back and listen. Go, <laughs> go, go, go back and listen to it. And it's, I was like, he's saying, if you like skin. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, man, no sneaky shots, no subliminals for him. <laughs> That's came right after Drake. But he's saying, man. But, just, but according so, to Spotify, it's. it's if you like that, <laughs> <laughs> I had to listen to it. Which I was like, "Nah, okay, okay." Yeah. <laughs> Since we going in our future, I honestly listened to the album. And I was like, "Bro, how does this guy remember his lyrics, man?" <laughs> this song, it sounds like he just making this up as he's going, bro. The, the thing is, is that if he didn't, who tell? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like you can't even tell. He Yo, could go listen. on. He could go on stage and say, "If you like skin," and people would sing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because that's what I thought he was. <laughs> you should li- watch, listen to that song again. And when he says it, have that in your mind. Oh, my God. But gosh. you're right. I don't even. Yeah. Like sometimes he sounds. <laughs> sometimes he is talking about something. <laughs> Yo, the chair black and then the shrug red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I should. laughs> like, yeah. Good summer for music, though, because Future, Drake, Cole, Cole yeah. and Kendrick, yeah. they all make songs. That are gonna be you're gonna hear them everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna hear them songs everywhere, whether you necessarily like that song or not. But you're gonna hear it everywhere. Yeah. Right? They all make that popular, popular music. Yeah. People check for those artists. Yeah. So it, it could be a, it could be an interesting think, summer. You, you think Kendrick just let he has led the fuse? Oh yeah. And he started. Oh yeah. There's, there's, he, but he did that with control, and no one really stood up. Yeah. So let's see what happens Drake, here. Drake Drake addressed it at a concert, and that's the only thing he said yeah. is that no one can mess with his life. Yeah. And he's More been or less like looking at all the things that he's doing, and he's he's kind of right on that on and, that level. And I, right. that's something I do want to speak about, man. Uh, but I don't know if we get to that part yet with the disc, but I do want to speak about. Uh, speak it. I don't. Okay, right, like like we all know Kendrick this Drake multiple times on that verse and all that, but Drake right now, this I'm not even lotioning, man. He had a power level, man. You got so much people that's looking out for his back and all that. Like it's hard to diss him. And think, oh, he's gonna respond, cause he don't have to, cause he's just he's at a he's at a point where it's like, oh man, the greats like him, the news like him, everybody's like Drake, Drake, like you know, he's at like a, yeah. he got muscle. I heard Chubbs responded, I heard Baca responded, like people who like really known to fight, <laughs> like like, like, like <laughs> respond, like real, like they on like a, they on the assumption this is real beef. I don't know if it is real. I don't know if Kendrick really intends. Like he's still rapping. I don't know if Kendrick yeah. actually went through hands, but. I don't know. I don't like. Are you saying we don't know these people? Kendrick, admit, Kendrick is that guy. He just he can rap, so he's gonna rap at what he thinks is the best. Yeah. But I think Drake is just so not the lotion, but he's just so high in that pedestal right now. It's like it's hard. He moves so strategic, and he's not. He's not gonna just respond, respond. But in some circles, Future is up there with Kendrick. I'm sorry, yeah. not Kendrick, but Drake. Drake, Drake, yeah. Like they put him, they they put, put him on the same pedestal, yeah. yeah. It's popularity wise, yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know what's funny? It's like this. Um, I'd say that if it was a battle, like it would be should be, because of the lanes that they're in, um, Future versus Drake, and Kendrick and Cole. Because mm. Kendrick and Cole, we'd yeah. get some crazy. More lyrics. We'd be yeah. yeah. We'd, we'd yeah. get crazy tracks against each other. Yeah. Where Drake and Future, we'd get some flossy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Because I'm a Drake fan, 
But if they're going to go diss tracks and Vars of Vars. Can Kendrick take him out? Yeah. 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 Easily. I even think it, that Kendrick it, could take out J. Cole, but I think that that would still be a fight. Man, y'all ain't no Cole, man. I, I see, that's, that's, that's we the, don't you say we don't know Cole, but yeah, we don't even know Kendrick. Kendrick issued the challenge before. We don't know what he no really one, could and, do, and no one stepped up to it, right? So that we could see what he did. This man. is only him baiting them, saying, "Come on, Cole, Cole is a bad guy, man." I went, I forget what album that is. It's the album with it's kind of like bright. When he, I think it was the outro or whatever. He's going in on a little pump. And he's just like how you just walking him down in those verses and talking about what would happen to his career and all. I was yeah. like, yo, this man dismantling you and teaching you at the same time. Like that's how bad Cole is. He'll he will yeah. dismantle and he would teach at the same time. Yeah, but that brings me back to how when Eminem the people Eminem used to diss. Yeah. He did that the little pump. Oh, you mean that that's a that's a little <laughs> yeah, that's a little, I mean, little like, Yeah, yeah. Like I, like when Eminem used to diss people, like yeah. Did M ever diss anybody that was that caliber that we could see something? I mean, cannabis was supposed to be that caliber. Cannabis was Ca- cannabis he was tri- issued as as like that street rapper, like that underground. Like he's that he's that guy. You know what cannabis is like? Cannabis is like somebody that goes on st- stage and trips over their own feet. He defeated himself. Mm. He made some bad moves. Some of his music just wasn't. He defeated himself because yeah. he could have been there and he should have been there, but. All yeah. all M's beefs is with people that basically he can lyrically bully. Yeah. That's how yeah. J. Cole, I feel, would be against Lil Pump. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cole ain't gonna bully Kendrick. <laughs> man, I don't know. I think I think Cole man. I think when the fall off come out, they're gonna be an album dedicated to Kendrick. I, I can <laughs> feel it. I feel that Kendrick versus Cole, whoever wins, it ain't it ain't gonna be a bully. Mm. They going down it's gonna be a fight. Yeah. That's why, yeah, like, I don't even want to hear Drake get back at Kendrick because there's nothing, what, I don't know. I probably, I kind of want to hear what he'd say, but I just don't feel that it's going to do anything for Drake. Right. I That's think, what I mean. Like, what, yeah, well, how does that, this yeah. response. It doesn't benefit Drake. Does it? Yeah. yeah. He's just like, he just. It only elevates Kendrick to be like. Yeah. See, he actually is up here. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's how Drake could be thinking too. I respond to him; he responds back. Did you but hear him giving him more plays? J. Cole in an interview said that Drake admitted to him that Cole smoked him on his first person shooter. Oh, I know, I didn't hear that. Okay, I forget what the interview was. Yeah, for. but um, that's cool. Well, Drake has always given Cole respect. Yeah, and props. Yeah, so I could I could see him saying that. I mean, I, I could see Drake saying that. Either way, man. It's going to be an interesting summer. I yeah. And the thing is, is that another thing, Drake kind of got to not respond. Like he, uh, he uh, kind of passed the expiration date. If you're going to respond, you got to respond that week. Mm. It's going on week three, man. Yeah. It may, if, if you respond, it makes like it makes it look like you had to take so much time. You had to get your ghostwriters in the room. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> great. I mean, I'm I saying no. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I'm saying that's yeah. what it seems like. That's what it comes across. Yeah, you know what I mean. You have to hit back quick because I have a feeling that uh, Kendrick already has a, <laughs> a song for I'm him that go. he's waiting to drop, but he's just waiting for him to say something first. Yeah. I, I feel like Kendrick <laughs> is that air to be like, I'm gonna drop this, but I got this in the tuck in case you yeah. right, right, in case you come. You got the response already. Already, you like I jabbed you and you didn't say nothing a while back. Let me. Let me jab you again and see what you say. Say something. Yeah, they scared of Kendrick, man. They scared. I don't know. Because Cole ain't said nothing either. I think Cole was scared of Kendrick. Cole ain't scared of Kendrick, It's been man. almost three weeks and ain't nobody said nothing. Cole is that guy, man. He, but he should have said something, though. I think he's waiting because he know everybody's waiting for the album. He keeps kind of sneak putting out there. Everybody's waiting to hear that come but out. But the thing is, is that if he put out a track right now, yeah, that would make people want the album even more. Whoever Wait. puts up the full track, though, you're overdoing it. You're overstepping. Because mm. remember, that was only a verse on someone else's yeah, song. Yeah, that's just a little verse. Yeah. Right? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't now think you're cool. overreaching a little bit, right? You, you jumping head first in. If you put <laughs> out a whole song when this man only did one verse, cater towards the both of you. Man, I... <sighs> 
He it was more Drake. He was kind of like, to me, the yeah. verse was like, you know, I'm the best, whatever. Fuck, fuck Drake, and and he said all this. You ain't, you know, uh, I'm the Prince here, Michael three, Jackson. It's just me. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just me. <laughs> it's just big me. Like, but well, that, me, that's a flip on on J oh, Cole's verse. Yeah, exactly. Though. Yeah, yeah. But to me, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. And it's just motherfuck the big three. It's, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he flipped right. J Cole. Like, yeah. he he Kendrick is that like I want. I thought about this before the pod, and like I was like, man, Kendrick is is just one of those guys. It's like two different personalities, man. Drake and Kendrick and Cole, uh, three different personalities, I think. It, that's, that's that guy. Yeah. Drake is the popular guy. Mm-hmm. Kendrick is the instigator guy who knows he has the skill. He gonna, he's gonna look at the popular guy and say, "Yo, I could beat you." Yeah. I'm gonna let you know that. So don't ever say me and you together though. I'm I'm top of you. Yeah. Like he's that guy. Here's the thing. What do you think happened? Because um, before the since this happened, I've been doing some research and seeing a lot of breakdowns. Yeah. Um. All three of these guys had relationships. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um, one of Kendrick's first tours, Drake took him on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, they were friends. They did tracks together. Um, J. Cole and Kendrick had. Yeah. J. Cole together. and Kendrick had a working relationship together. Now, I don't believe that Cole and Kendrick ever had a falling out. But I wonder what happened between Drake and Kendrick. I think. The selling out? I think Kendrick is just. That's just his real self, man. I think he does. He doesn't want to. He be loves his, competition. Yeah, he, he competition, sir. Yeah, competition. Yeah, he 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 can't just be under, and be known as under. He's gonna be known as that guy who said he he is that guy. Didn't he do this before? He's and done this before. Artists, every artist in the world was trying to make a song because he said he's the king of both coasts. Exactly. Just put him in my hands. I'll juggle them both. He he keeps doing this. He keeps showing us what he wants to tell us. And then everybody realized that that's Kendrick, man. Yeah. Matter of gonna, fact, that was on a verse of someone else's song. <laughs> he's gonna, <laughs> yeah. He, but he shows and proves, though. Like it, he is. It, it's it's, it's <laughs> like it's hard to argue against them. You can't. <laughs> and no one does. And he and he knows <laughs> that. And like, but he knows that he's still not considered as popular as Drake. But he's still gonna be known as the guy who said he's better than Drake or don't consider me. That's why he said Prince outlived Mike Jack. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Kendrick's music is viewed as more like art. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then Drake's is Drake's is more viewed as like that pop, music yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, Kendrick's music I find from people a who listen, yeah, <laughs> people who listen to this music yeah. are like, okay, I'm gonna listen to that song, then I'm gonna rewind it, and listen back to see what he what actually he actually said. said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's that, true. Though. That is true. Because for true. most of Drake's music, you're gonna listen to the song, and if it's a bop, I'm gonna play it again. If yeah. not, I'm not gonna listen to it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah. Maybe that's that could. Now, then now this is just making shit up and throwing it out there. Just opinion. That could be a part of their fallout out. Because maybe when they came up, because remember, Drake did different music back in the day. Yeah. Maybe when they came up, that's how he seen Kendrick. I'm uh, sorry, Kendrick seen him. And they were like, Kendrick Spirits and seen that. And then maybe in Kendrick's mind, actually, where he says Prince outlived Mike Jack, that gives, you know, credit to it or validates the fact that he sees Drake as a sellout. Mm. It's like, yeah, you sell more records, you're a sellout, but you sold up to craft, man. Yeah, I, I mean, mm. that's what I think. Yeah, that's interesting. Either Kendrick's way. definitely in the elements of hip-hop. Yeah. I am hip-hop. Yeah. That's, that's Kendrick. Kendrick is hip-hop. definitely hip-hop, where Drake has slowly come more pop and dibbled because toes in R&B, right? Which I'm not dissing. I like his music. Well, yeah. I shouldn't say I like it all. I like most of the music, but. Well, yeah, I like the music. Canada stand up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't hear yeah. enough of that. Yeah. Anyways, it's going to be interesting. All right, speaking of Canada, let's talk about these Junos. Ooh, yeah. Um, Big times in the Maritimes. Yeah. <laughs> Big things. So the Juno Awards happened here a couple of weeks ago. It was dope. Um, I seen some of the performances. I seen, um, <coughs> Michael Fresh West turn off the stage doing something that was dope. And um, who? <laughs> <Joking. laughs> <Joking. laughs> 
I'm going to get killed, man. <laughs> I should say kill G's. I'm going to get destroyed in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen the Queen of Canada, her royal thighness. <laughs> 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 Nelly Furtado <laughs> <laughs> on a stage. I got I'm no comment. She aged, she aged very well. She I got yes, no she did. comment. <laughs> you got all you had all kinds of comments. I bleed the fifth. Look, he can't even speak. I bleed the fifth. <laughs> he can't even speak. Thigh's Did he got, help me? <laughs> thigh's got speechless. Man, quiet like Diddy over here. <laughs> When white girls hit the thirty, their forties, I should say, then they 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 <laughs> thick. But um, and she still can sing, and she's yeah, it was it was good. I just wanted to run down some of the winners. Mm. Um, Toby won rap album of the year, rap album slash rap EP of the year. He also sorry his his album was Panic. I checked it out. You should. It's funny we're talking about Kendrick. He reminds me of like Kendrick. I can just feel it. He's a Nigerian born no, sorry, Nigerian Canadian. Um I forget where in Canada he's from. But um Yep, and he also won Oh shoot, got this twice. Rap single of the year. Mm. With the song Someone I Know. <laughs> he's telling me to work, look at the prompter. Oh, I see it. I, oh, and remember we talked about this? Who was going to win international? Yeah. And, yep, SZA won it with SOS. Oh, SZA won a Juno. Yep, she got a Juno oh, award. Yeah. For, for an international album. Uh, Tate McRae, the girl I told you was going to clean up. She won Artist of the Year and Single of the Year with Greedy. I like that song. Wait a second. Where's SZA from? Yeah, what you say? Weird. Where's SZA from? Where's she from? Or that, or so them, somewhere or, in the States. Oh, it don't matter because it's the international. It's international. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, All you right. thought she was Canadian? I, thought she's, I said, hold on a second. Do you know SZA? <laughs> I was like, I get it now. International. Wow. Well, she beat a lot of people then. I don't even know who's nominated. Taylor Swift was nominated. She wow. Beat she beat Taylor Swift. Uh, the others, no disrespect, I can't remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you got Taylor Swift. Yeah. And um, SZA, yeah, the others I can't remember. But that says something though. SZA beat her Taylor Taylor Swift in like this is the second time. Yeah, she beat Taylor Swift in an international award. That's the other one was something. in the UK. It's saying some good things. It's saying something, but R and B man. Yeah, we got um, album of the year was by Charlotte Cardin with Ninety Nine Nights. Uh, I don't know if you know, she's got that famous song, popular, I should say, song, um, what's it called? Confetti. That's what it's called. It's on the radio all the time. Yeah, yeah I've heard that on the radio. And those are the topic. Those are the winners of the awards I was, I was following. Yeah. And um, it's funny. These awards coincided with Chuck Lair coming down. Yeah, yeah. And you was on stage at that. Yeah, yeah, it was a dope five. It was a dope five. Oh, you on stage, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was performing. I jumped on with our with our buddy D, Dirty, and uh, it, was, it was a song that me and him got. Uh, me, him, and Jamie, uh, Jamie Williams. So we all decided to jump on the song, jump on the track together, and bust the stage. And the venue was very, very cool. Like shout out to Steel Wheel Auto Museum. That's a venue that more artists should be picking up on and throwing shows, throwing parties, doing different events there. Beautiful cars. I think they had like what? It was over like two million dollars in cars on the stage. I oh. seen that. Yeah. Where is that place exactly, man? You know where Carpon Racing used to be up in Bears Lake? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Oh, that's cool. yeah. Okay. Okay. I seen people there. I think I seen Exhibit go there. I was like, where is this? Yeah, Exhibit <laughs> was there before his show. Yeah, yeah before his show at the uh Okay, the okay. Dome. Yeah, it was a great vibe. It was a great show watching everybody come together. So you had different elements of hip hop. Uh Halifax and different parts of uh, different parts of the different parts in Canada who were coming down to do shows. And then you had like a lot of the people who were extremely big hip hop fans kind of show up later on to kind of watch that show, shock layer uh, show as well as kind of interact with, with the other rappers who were from, who were from their city 
and show them love as well, right? So you had all like names like Jordan Crocher, uh, Ghetto Child, all the, all all the folks Quake, all them guys came through. It was actually a really cool video that Quake did on his Instagram, where he had a pair of Shockler shoes from twenty years ago that Shockler left in his car or left at his house or something like that, <laughs> and he brought them back to him twenty years later, right? And got them oh, to sign them and stuff. It was a it was a really, real cool vibe and Shockler. Like I met him probably like soon as I got there. Great guy. Real down to earth, real humble, and he killed the show. Nice. That's crazy, man. I didn't know you performed, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do a little Jeez. bit of everything, right? I mean, yeah, man. This guy, in front of the camera, behind the camera. This guy everywhere, you know, man. We, we, we yeah. out here. This guy everywhere. That's yeah. good, though. That's, good. That's dope. And, um, yeah, speaking of concerts in Halifax, mm. we got Snoop Dogg, DJ Quick. Ooh. And Warren G. Warren G was Wait, my they favorite all rapper. Yeah, man. Oh, buddy. June you 3rd. there now. June 3rd. Because <laughs> I. That's West Coast royalty right there. Because. That's crazy. Warren G ain't talked enough about. Mm. Like, talked about enough, sorry. Warren G was. Man, this DJ be Warren G. Mm. Like, you know that song? You got. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He, he was a DJ turned rapper. Yeah. And, and he was all about, he was always their D, the DJ. Oh, right? uh, yeah? What is it? Yeah, that's why, his, what is, listen to the song, This DJ. Man, you could mix your name in there with This I DJ. Beach. Yeah, that'd be dope, man. This that's DJ by Born G. I listen to it. Yeah. Check it out. It's, it's West Coast from like 94, 95. It was, it was right after Snoop's first album. It was when the G Funk was. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was really good. Highly and. Popular. Yeah, that that whole first album is crazy. You know, I know you heard Regulators. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Regulators. Yeah. yeah, that's Warren G and Nate Dogg, yeah. right? And because uh, yeah, they were in a group together, Snoop, Warren G, and Nate Dogg. They were called Two One Three. Yeah. Um. It was yeah. Warren G's got he got hits, man. Halifax getting big shows, man. Yeah, especially like like this. Like DJ Quick. is this his third or second time here, Snoop? Nope. I know he's here before. Here trailer Park Boys and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I he's seen him in concert. Here. Yeah, he's performed years ago. Yeah, years yeah, yeah. ago he performed here as well. I I know he was here before. Yeah, I remember okay. when that show. My buddy was in security for him and stuff. So this might just be a second show. All right, I I I'm going to that. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets go on sale this Friday. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to that. DJ, you sold me with DJ Quick. I, I met Snoop. Snoop's, Snoop's great, great guy, all that kind of stuff. And I would go to see his show because I was planning on going to it anyway. Well, you said DJ Quick's there? Yeah. When is that ever going to happen again? Never. We I, might see Snoop Dogg again. I, hope yeah, I don't can, think we ever going to see DJ Quick again. I hope again DJ Quick can get in the country. I hope they don't pull one of those, yeah. those Halifax things that they yeah. do. <laughs> Damn. But, yeah, DJ Quick, man. Anybody Same listening? Way. DJ Quick? Bring sugar free with you. Oh, <laughs> you gotta bring them. Cause one of my favorite songs for them too is "Down, yeah. Down, Down." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that song is crazy. I know he. This guy's looking. I look around. Look around the room, like. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put him on. Wait till he hears that. Yeah, beat. yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on after this episode. Oh yeah, that beat. DJ Quick with the beats, man. Yeah. Showing that DJs don't just DJ. They. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, the frig, it's, they're both DJs, Warren yeah. G and DJ Quick. I bet you that they'll probably do a set spinning that's going to be crazy. Yeah. Man, that's, oh, frig, I never even thought about that. I was just thinking about them rapping. That's Man, their show could be crazy. Yeah, that's going to be wild. Frig. Yeah, that, June 3rd. We're putting going? that together. Put me on the list. Put me there. I'll <laughs> jump on stage. I'll bless the mic again. <laughs> Ah, I didn't even see where it's at. Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank. Yeah, yeah Scotia I Bank. guess it would have to. I think be it was in June. I think it was like June six or something. June third. Like June third. I believe. Yeah, June third. It's on Monday. Why do we do this in Halifax? Yeah, they. I don't know why Halifax always get those dates, man. They always get those dates. Yeah. Probably because probably because something's already booked on a weekend or whatever. I think that promoters are scared to deal with the aftermath of a fr- Friday night or a Saturday night. They think that us Heligonians are. Kind of rowdy. That would, that would, yeah, that could be crazy still. Yeah, I know. I think they're going to be crazy still. Oh, yeah. It's a rally scene. I, I think we talked about, or. But then that, that probably means the classifier is going to perform there as well. Oh, probably open You got that song with 
Snoop is well. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. One of, that's one of the bigger, bigger. He's one of his bigger tunes, right? Yeah. I won't say biggest because he got a lot of he got a lot of good jams too. Shout out to Classified, but I I'm pretty sure if Snoop's gonna be here, he's gonna take that opportunity to be at that show, especially since they have that connection, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, unless they, unless it's a tour thing, I guess they can modify that one song to bring him up. But but they are, oh, yeah. but Snoop and man, they got a lot of stuff already. Like that's gonna be a hell of yeah. a set, man. Yeah, what's gonna be played and what's gonna be cut? Yeah, yeah. It's like this is like the next Warren G and Snoop Dogg is the mes- next best thing to having Dre and Snoop. Oh, friggin' Warren G, brother. Yeah. yeah, he's he's Dre's younger brother. Oh. Dre's the one, I mean, he introduced Snoop to Dre. Yeah, he was the connect because they, like I said, they were in that group. It was uh, Warren G, Nate Dog, and Snoop, and he inter- gave him uh, his tape. Yeah, Dre was said it on it, it was Tonight Show or whatever. They were talking interview where he said how he met Snoop. He said his brother Warren G put in the tape. And say, yo, you get him to the studio tomorrow. <laughs> and then, yeah, got introduced like that. Man, this is going to be gonna all be West Coast. Show, <laughs> it's going to be an epic show. It's funny because King Jacob was saying how he ain't going to no shows this year now because he's at this other trip. He's at a yeah, basketball game yeah. right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why he ain't here. He, he in Toronto watching the Lakers and the Raptors. Yeah. So uh, that's why he ain't here. But it's a big game to be both. Yeah. Watch. yeah. I think his mind, when he hears that Snoop is coming, he... he He'll be going to a concert. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to Snoop for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. Cool. Well, um, well, that's it for this episode. I think we covered everything that we set out to cover. Um, Man, yeah, go check. Go s- support local shows, and we get more shows. Absolutely. So go buy those tickets on Friday um, when they go on sale. Wait a few hours after they go right on sale because I want to be able to get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but yeah check them out and um, yeah that's it for this episode I'm John Kizzy you know who is he aka Philly G because they know who I be and I'm here with DJ Laton I'm back my cousin Ray Ray you know what it do and we out peace <laughs>